Share state leaders and church members from all around the globe remembering the life of President Ballard. News specialist Lindsay Ayers talked with several people who say they'll remember President Ballard's life of service. Lindsay. Yeah, that message, Debbie, from state leaders as well, service, uh, top of mind for many of the local officials uh, who praised President Ballard. Now, we also spoke with one group of women who got some advice from the late apostle that they won't soon forget. Brothers and sisters, stay in the boat. Use your life jackets. Hold on with both hands. A talk from 2014, a metaphor for enduring life's rough waters, has stuck with these generations of women all these years later. Just stay in the stay in the boat, ride it out if you have any doubts or fears or whatever, and um, just be peaceful and calm and the Lord is in charge. Church members around Temple Square sharing their thoughts of the life and legacy of President M. Russell Ballard. My daughter and I always say we have to stay in the boat when anything's happening to us. And it wasn't just church members honoring President Ballard today. Reaction to his death pouring in from state leaders and much of Utah's federal delegation. Governor Spencer Cox writing on X, formerly Twitter, quote, Abby and I are deeply saddened at the passing of our dear friend. He spent a lifetime of service trying to make the world a better place for everyone. We are forever grateful for the goodness and light he brought to this world. Senator Mitt Romney sharing that President Ballard had offered he and his wife wise personal counsel. Utah Senate President. Stuart Adams called it an honor to know President Ballard. We'll miss that spirit, that kind spirit, that that uh, spirit of, of of helping other people and and the spirit of trying to bring people together. While other church members say President Ballard was the ultimate example. Beautiful example of a husband, father, patriarch. He's a perfect example of a disciple of Christ, the way he lived his life and the way he served. Now his example and his words, lasting generations. No, he was a wonderful general authority and he's been there for so long and given us so much inspiration and, and good counsel over the years. Now, guys, funeral services uh, have yet to be released from the Church of Jesus Christ. The Latter-day Saints, of course, will have those details for you as soon as they become available. But for today, the folks just recognizing the life and legacy of the late apostle. For Live at Five, I'm Lindsay Ertz.